Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're learning about factoring using all the techniques. It's going to be hard. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help to use Minute Math. We're given this problem right here, x to the 6th minus 26, x to the 3rd power minus 27, and we got to factor this. Well, we can see that this is in quadratic form, so we take our c value, negative 27, and we find two numbers that multiply to be a negative 27. And this one, well, we want to find two numbers multiply, sorry, to be negative 27 and add to be a negative 26. And that one's actually kind of easy. So going through this, I like to kind of jump ahead. Two numbers multiply to be negative 27 or like 1 and 27. And well, 27 minus 1 gets me 26. So how can we make this line up right? Well, if we have a uh, negative 1, or sorry, negative, positive 1, sorry, and a negative 27, they multiply to be a negative 27. But when I add them together right there, so that equals a negative 26. So the, with that information, we have an x to the third, we can say plus 1, and an x to the third minus 27 is how we can break that down. Okay, so now we have two numbers here. Now notice here, though, that each one is x to the third power, and one can be written as one to the third power, and 27 can be written as three to the third power. And so with that information, we can use the sum and difference of cubes. Keeps on going. So if you remember the sum of cube formulas, our base value x and a base value one here, this first part will break down to be, using the formula, x plus one times an x squared minus x times one, which is just an x, and plus 1 squared, which is 1. We can do the same thing with the second part. Each one's a cube, right? 27 is 3 cubed. So using a difference of cubes formula, slightly different, x minus 3 here times, well, x squared plus 3 times x, so 3x, and then plus 3 squared, which is 9. All right. Now, can this factor any more? And I'm looking, 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 and that is a no. And so our final answer here is x plus 1 times x squared minus x plus 1 times x minus 3 times x squared plus 3x plus 9. I hope this video is helpful for you. And if it was, please subscribe to this YouTube channel and like this video. This helps us make more free math lessons for you and for everyone else. So as always, thanks for watching. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help you use Minute Math.